What's up you guys, HMK here once again with another video on Breath of the Wild An update on the timeline conundrum that is the Legends of the Breath of the Wild Yes, there's many Breath of the Wild timeline theories and so far they're all theories because we have no concrete, super duper concrete evidence of where it takes place in the timeline Yet I like to argue it takes place in the child timeline thanks to Zelda's words with the Twilight Realm and like all oh, lurking through the embers of Twilight and Skyward Sword and Ocarina of Time, all that good jazz. And I've had a bunch of timeline videos and I have another timeline video coming up specifically talking about the conundrum that it is, but it has to be very focused and concise. But let me stop talking about that. What I need to talk to you about is that Game Rant, Gamer Rant is doing God's work where they interviewed the director of the game, Hidemaru Fujibayashi, and that the director of the game is Mr. Fujibayashi, not Mr. Aonuma. He's the producer of the Legend of Zelda games. Uh, and Shigeru Miyamoto is Miyamoto. What was that? Is the general producer, the overseer of the Zelda series and a bunch of other Nintendo games. But Mr. Hidemaru Fujibayashi is the one who directed the game. So Game Rap took him aside and had a couple of questions about how people were, were, you know, talking about Breath of the Wild, how the critics, how the fans have been regarding it and receiving it, and a lot of stuff. But they had a question to Mr. Fujibashi, and where the, and the question is, where does Breath of the Wild fit in the official Legend of Zelda timeline? And I'm like, oh yes, you're doing God's work, my boys, get ready right asking the real questions. And this is what Mr. Fujibashi had to say. And I'm reading it off here. He says, It takes place in an age long, long after any of the titles released to date. It is the most recent age, and because of this, we believe players will be able to easily immerse themselves in the game. Of course, regardless of the time period, the story does unfold in Hyrule. So for those who played other titles of the series, there's a lot of recognizable places to enjoy. Quaint, quaint, quaint. So he's saying it is the most recent Legend of Zelda game in the timeline it is the most recent age it's far ahead of any other game super fucking future nice okay cool I, I, I can respect that that's nice that's it oh wait you're forgetting a teeny tiny yet extremely crucial detail and that's the fact that we have a timeline split after our career of time Okay, so it takes place in the future for any of game. Okay, okay, nice. But which line of games, though? Which line of games, man? Stop playing these games with these games. Like, this man literally went up to him like, Okay, where does the game take place in the timeline? Um, father and other games. Uh, but uh, the, 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 the timeline has three splits to it. But it's father any of those games. Yeah, okay, I get that. But you're not telling us. Ooh, but... With this in tow, with the whole thing about Hyrule, this is Hyrule, all that good jazz, we can already eliminate the adult timeline because farther than any of that, that's like new Hyrule, Hyrule has sunk, Hyrule has gone, not the adult timeline. But I am still a firm believer that it's still more than 10,000 years, 10,000 years plus after Four Swords Adventures. In the child timeline. I do believe Breath of the Wild is in the child timeline. A lot of people can argue the downfall of timeline because of a lot of things, comparing contrast and stuff like that, and that's understandable. However, one also hugely crucial detail in Breath of the Wild that helps me point the child timeline that I haven't really specified or anything like that, and I have a bigger video talking about all of this. We're gonna be talking about the timeline a lot, people. Very, very much so. And in the game, it says that, oh, uh, the, the hero and the, the princess, they fought t uh, Ganon time and time again and always won and always beat him back and always blasted him back. Well, up until Breath of the Wild climbed again and destroyed the place, but whatever. But they said they always were there to beat Ganon back. And that tells me it's going to be in the child time because it's already not in the Dotfall timeline. And it can't be the, it can't, no, it's already not in the adult time, and I'm sorry. And it can't be in the downfall time because they had one huge recorded loss that led to the downfall time, and that is Link losing against Ganon in the pivotal battle of Ocarina of Time. So with that recorded loss in history, they can't really be like, oh yeah, we, we always won. We always pushed this guy back. We always pushed this guy's, we always pushed in this guy's asshole. Like, Link and Zelda always beat this dude back. No, because in that sense, Link lost. But Zelda was, was able to seal off Ganon with the power of the sages. 
but that still record a loss for Link, the hero, the guy with the Master Sword. So I do believe that with this, we can make it concrete, riggedy, raggedy, concrete enough that it does take place in the child timeline more than 10,000 years after Forces of Avengers. But I want to know what you guys think about this news and what do you guys think about Nintendo and Fujibayashi playing games? Like, geez. Let me know what you think about this timeline update in the comment section below. And get hyped for E3. Be sure to subscribe to HMK because it's almost time. So guys, until the next Zelda video, I've been HMK. I'll check you guys later.